Hi, I'm Dr. Courtney with the Quantitative Reasoning Center. And many Americans, and I begin to worry that perhaps many officer candidates as well, begin to think that the United States of America will always exist as a strong, free, and prosperous nation. Because we have existed as that for a very long time now. But if we were to learn the lessons of history, history reveals that no nation is immune when its citizens and its officers turn away from the important principles and work ethic on which the nation was founded and which made the nation strong. And when, once the citizens and once the officers begin to live for themselves, and pursue selfish ends rather than the service of the nation and the uh, principles that made the nation strong in the first place. Uh, at some point after that, it's not too many years before the nation becomes vulnerable to foreign armies and downfall. All right, our task today is to evaluate the integral the integrand is x, it's over a region uh, in three-dimensional space that's bounded, and the lower bound is this paraboloid, uh, 9y squared plus 9z squared, and the upper bound is the plane x equals 9. So, some care is in order, but things are relatively straightforward, and once we've used a picture to help us determine the limits of integration, we're going to actually evaluate the triple net integral in MATLAB. So, this is a MATLAB practice problem, if you want to say that. Alright, so, to develop the problem, let's go ahead and draw the picture. And in three dimensions, we want to get a sense for what that paraboloid looks like. Well, that's a paraboloid that's centered about the x-axis and something like this. So it's got a spherical, I'm sorry, it's got a cylindrical symmetry to it as if it's something that's been rotated about the x-axis. And then somewhere we also have the plane uh, x equals 9. And so the paraboloid intersects the plane and it's going to intersect it in a circle and the circle is going to cast a shadow down into the XY plane and I can't draw that well but down in the XY plane the shadow is pretty much a circle I'm sorry in the YZ plane the shadow is a circle of radius 3 and you could also see that if you just substitute x equals 9. Ah, it's actually, it's not a circle of radius 3. Good thing we double checked with this reasoning. If you plug in x equals 9, you find that the intersection of the plane and the paraboloid is 9 is equal to 9y squared plus 9z squared. So it's just y squared plus z squared equals 1. So the intersection and the shadow that's cast in the YZ plane is actually a circle of radius 1. Alright, so pictures certainly help to develop the problem. Let's make our plan. And this is, is eminently doable in Cartesian coordinates, so let's go ahead and use uh, Cartesian coordinates. So let's determine the limits of integration. Express the integral using those limits and then evaluate in MATLAB. Alright, so we have a triple integral. The integrand is x, and we can integrate over it dx, dy, dz. The lower bound 
is the paraboloid because we're integrating from small x out to large x. So the paraboloid is x equals 9y squared plus 9z squared. And the upper bound is x equals 9. Now we simply need to integrate over the circle, radius 1 centered at the origin in the xy plane. So that is y is equal to negative 1 minus z squared is the lower bound, and the upper bound is the square root of 1 minus z squared. And then when we're integrating in z, z goes from negative 1 to 1. So here we have the integral expressed, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this over to MATLAB, where MATLAB is going to treat the integral over x as the inside integral. We're going to call the integral over y as the middle integral, and we're going to call the integral over z as the outside integral, and that will effectively be the final answer to the problem. Okay, we have MATLAB up and running. So we can hit it with a sims x, y, z real to define all of our variables. And then the inside integral use the int command. The, the integrand is x. The variable of integration is also x. The lower limit of integration is x equals 4 times y squared. Oops, I'm sorry. It's 9 times y squared because we've changed the numbers a little bit from the book. Plus 9 times z squared. And the upper limit of integration is x equals 9. Hmm. Oops, our sims command went wrong at the beginning. We did x, y, x real instead of x, y, z real. But now it knows what z is, so we can hit it with the inside integral. And then the middle integral is equal to the integral of the inside integral over their variable y. And the lower limit in y is negative square root of 1 minus z squared, and the upper limit in y is the square root of 1 minus z squared. And now the outside integral is equal to the integral of the inside, oh, of the middle integral over the variable z from negative 1 to 1. And 27 pi uh, works out to be the final answer for the integral in question.